Hello dear traders, welcome back to Insta TV. I'm Anna Kasatkina, you're watching Daily Financial News. To clear up his tariff policy, Donald Trump said that the decision to impose levies on steel and aluminium imports will not hurt Canada or Mexico, provided that they sign the North American Free Trade Agreement. However, Trump's comments did not provide the US dollar with support. In the Asian trade, the American currency was extending its weakness. The dollar-yen pair again sank below 106 points. Investors are still voicing fears about a full-blown trade war between the US and China. No wonder traders are flocking to safe haven assets. Experts say that today market participants will be highly sensitive to macroeconomic data. Traders cheered upbeat statistics from Japan. According to the Cabinet Office, Japan's GDP pushed up to 1.6% in the fourth quarter on a yearly basis, topping a median forecast for a 0.9% advance. Nevertheless, Japan's economy expanded the most in the third quarter. GDP grew 0.4% on quarter, exceeding expectations for a 0.2% increase. Tomorrow, Bank of Japan's governor Haruhiko Kuroda is due to speak on monetary policy. Traders do not foresee any sensational remarks. Analysts assume the dollar-yen pair to close the week in the red. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you back soon.